We were offering people over three million to buy those cars, so you know they're making over a million. A million pounds, and that's tax-free, isn't it? You know, for a private seller. All tax-free for a private seller. Yeah, There's no capital gains tax on cars. Everybody dreams of making easy money. Crypto, NFTs, maybe even growing. But I'm going to tell you a way to make big bucks with cars tax-free. I'm going to explain the process from both perspectives, the buyer and the seller. The car industry has changed drastically over the past few years. Short supply of parts, especially electronic chips, has left the manufacturers with huge delays and very limited stock. So simple supply and demand issues have meant more people with deep pockets than there are actual cars made, especially a privileged few who are able to afford a special edition of the desirable supercar brands. So today is the first new car day of 2023. It's going to be a Lotus Amira and we have paid a little bit overs because there is a huge waiting list of actually two years. Now, Chris is going to film this a little bit incognito because we're going to ask them some questions they might not want to answer. Hello, okay. Yeah, thank you, you. Is it Amira? Yes. This is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nice to meet you. Have you been here before? No. Ah, I thought I recognised your face. There's just one thing he just wants you to sign, which I think you know anyway. I'll show you anyway. It's just a... Does it um, bother you if you sold it straight away? But do they not mind you flipping it? Well, they, can, they can't really stop it. There's not a lot you can do, is there really? We had a yellow one here that was the first UK dealer delivered car. The guy came in and looked at it and said, I've had a change of circumstances, I need to sell it. And he wanted 105 for it. I said, look, I'm not going to advertise the car, but I'm happy to have the car here in the showroom. So that was that. And somebody obviously then came in. I'd had that conversation. They went straight home that night, put it on a forum. And then people said, I can't believe the dealer's trying to make 25 grand. I'm thinking, whoa, yeah, it's nothing to do with it. Anything else you need, just, just give us a shout. Let's rewind a second and I'll explain the whole process. Not anyone can walk into a Ferrari garage and buy a special edition. Unless you have a large previous buying history of them, you have to already be on that ladder. Now this term is called the VIP list. If you are one of those very important customers, you will get one of the very first cars of the special edition. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone, it's all gone. And this is called an early car. With an early car, money can jump the queue by the VIP customer selling their position in the queue secretly. This is called selling the slot. Alternatively, the VIP customer can sell their new car the very day he receives it, but obviously for an increased price. The term for a seller is a flipper, and the amount of money he charges extra is called overs. So hypothetical numbers, that's Senna, right? Yeah. Like immediately once you bought it, how much could you have flipped it for? I think initially in the US, maybe 300,000 over. But even better news for the flipper, but wait, there's more, is the overs he just made is tax exempt. Yes, not even the government gets a share. After paying 5K overs for this new model Lotus, it got me thinking, maybe I can do this on my Lamborghini Urus Performante. After all, it's going to be the very first car in the country. So now we've come to see Carl Hartley, who is the son of Tom Hartley, which is the famous people who buy these specialist cars. Now, really interested to see his thoughts on how the motor industry has changed over the last few years with the whole supply and demand thing. Carl is definitely a person who would buy a flipped car because this is the place to go to get your cash immediately they don't mess about here. So back in the day, we used to hide around the corner of the car park of Ferrari <laughs> with a suitcase with the banker's draft in it. And they used to drive the car out, have the whole handover experience, whip the cover off. Oh my God, I can't believe what a car, I love it. Thank you so much. Shake the round, go around the corner to me and I'd give them 100 grand profit. That was a bit brazen. So now we just wait a bit further up the road. <laughs> <Yeah. still. laughs> um, but off the top of my head that I can think of right now, it's like a LaFerrari, you know, a million pounds over list. There in there one day one day. And that's tax free. It's tax, as, it's tax free as a money. Private, yeah. as, as a, a private, private individual, as a, as, as a tax free profit. It got to the point now where Ferrari make you sign a contract to say that you won't sell the car before it hits 3000 miles or three months old. But the contract's worth about as much as toilet paper. Like I say, who, who are they actually going to take to court? So no. what they do is they threaten you with, we'll never sell you another car. The big question, I've got a Euros Performante. It's going to be the first one. So I've been told. Mm -hmm. It's coming hopefully in two weeks' time. There's my original invoice. It's a four spec. Mm -hmm. 
It's yep. got a lot of stuff on there. Retail of 275. Mm-hmm. Yep. Would you buy it? Of course. And how much would you give me for that today? I'd give you 60,000 over this for it. Just like that. Here you now. Just before we left, Carl wanted to show us a few cars he currently had for overs. Now, these cars were brand new, but they'd increased in value the day that they'd been collected by their new owners. AMG GT, Black Series, 60,000 over list. Ferrari 296 GTB, 45,000 over list. Ferrari 812 GTS, 40,000 over list. Rolls Royce Cullinan, 35,000 over list. Porsche 992 GT3, 45,000 over list. SLS GT Final Edition, 250,000 over list. Ferrari F12 TDF, 400,000 over list. I wonder how fast we could sell this. We've had it about an hour. <laughs> See if he'll make a bid. I like it. It's nice. It's, it's the first one I've seen. I've never seen one before. I like the color combination. I like it. Do you want it? Do you want to sell it? Um, <laughs> I don't know about an hour. Um, was it still delivery mileage? What, like 50 miles or something? I'll give you 90 grand for it. Yeah? Cool. Good day at the office. Happy days. <laughs> Pay for Nando's. Bye bye. <laughs> I didn't last long, did it? <laughs> I did not plan on selling the new Lotus. I only had this car for one hour. But how can you turn down £5,000 profit, especially for such a minimal amount of work? So let's get back to selling this Lamborghini Urus Performante. It's time to jump on some calls. So we are now going to offer the Lamborghini Urus Performante to three different specialist dealers who will all buy our car, hopefully, for overs. So the first bidder we're going to try is Romans International. So I'm going to give them a call, speak to Tom who's the owner there now he is going to want this car because they have some beautiful cars at his place and it's always the latest latest stuff so let's start the timer and see how much money this could potentially make in such a small amount of time hi Mark hi Tom you alright yeah all good how are you yeah good thank you did you see that whatsapp with that um, invoice yeah so the Eurus Perf yeah the Eurus Perf so first question big one would you be interested in buying it 100% you wouldn't even need to ask what do you think you can sell it for Probably the first few cars on the market, I think, could be about 350. So he said about 350 for retail. So say, let's be sensible. Say he sells it for 345. He's going to want a few quid out of it. So I think that's going to leave me with about 55, maybe. So you know, that is not a bad start to the day. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hi, Dan. You okay? Yeah, that's right. Not too bad. Uh, just ringing you. I WhatsApped you a invoice for a Euros Performante. Would you be interested in buying it? Yeah, we would. It just depends when, the, obviously, when the car comes. What sort of money would you be able to give for that car? Do you think? I think you're looking at circa three. 320, 325. Okay, brilliant, right, super. Thank you ever so much for that. I'll give you a shout back. So that is a big result. That turns out to be 50. So 50 grand over, which is a lovely little profit for, again, we haven't spent much time on this so far. This could be an easy way of earning a living. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, how are you? Yeah, not bad, you? Yeah, very well, thank you, very well. Um, I've just sent you, did you see the WhatsApp on the Eurus Performante? Yes, stunning spec, very, yeah. very nice indeed. Would you have anybody in mind, private client-wise? Definitely something my clients potentially would be looking for, for sure. And would that be sort of like a bit of an under-the-radar one as well, as long as... 100%. For, for me, you know, as you know with me, I don't advertise stuff, it's very much all under the radar. The client will be keeping the car. It wouldn't be advertised, it'll go straight to them. All right, brilliant. Oh, just let me know if you if you manage to get anywhere with it, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, I'll come back to you. I'll make some phone calls in the next kind of 24 hours or so and come back to you and we'll go from there. You're a legend. Brilliant. Thanks, Ollie. Cheers, Mark. Take, Take care. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye. What a lot of people don't know is this overs process can be a very underground and secretive place. Nobody wants to be kicked off this important VIP list because it can be a very lucrative position. Huge amounts of money can change hands. It all happens behind closed doors. And if done right, nobody will ever know. So the point being with Ollie is it's under the radar, basically, like he said. So it's private people, people who are very well known to probably most of us. They're very secretive of how they buy their cars, etc. So nobody knows who they're going to. So even if it sort of like gets sold tomorrow, Lamborghini sort of like will not know it's been sold if that's the choice, which, you know, somebody like myself, the seller makes. I waited patiently for Ollie to call back. I had to sit it out for two days. 
because I didn't want to come over to Keen to sell as this might affect my profit. The car sales industry can be like a game of chess. So we are two days further down the line now. Haven't heard from Molly until now. We've just missed a call. So fingers crossed he's got some good news for us. Hey Mark. Hi Ali, you okay? Sorry I missed yeah, your call. Mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, thing. okay, sorry, a bit busy few days actually, but I have been trying to um, see what we can get on this on this car for you. Um, out of the two clients I had in mind, one it's not for him. Um, he's actually bought something else, but the other one is actually very interested. What? I was wise. Yeah, yeah, the important. Um, you know, because there's nothing else in the market currently, it's very hard to judge where yeah. that car will be. Yeah. But with other Eurises previously and how things are going. I reckon it could be between 60 to 70,000. Perfect, you're a star. All right, great stuff. I'll give you a ring back as soon as I know anything else. You're a star. Thanks, Ali. Brilliant. Thanks, Mark. Take, take care. Take care. Cheers. Bye, bye, bye. So, result, that is the biggest profit by the sign of it. So, happy days. <laughs> So that's £70,000 profit, tax-free, and let's face it, I've hardly had to do anything, but I'm not gonna sell it because that will get me blacklisted. And of course, I want us to enjoy the car. A couple of weeks, we're gonna get that car and do some great videos on it. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.